Hello everyone, I hope you all are preparing well for the examination. So this is the mega revision part 10 in the series where we are going to solve 6 numericals in this single video which will definitely help you in the examination. So these are from environmental chemistry, statistics, solid waste management, organic carbon and this will be important if you note down all these things while listening to the video. So please note down to note all this formula and calculations. So guys if you haven't joined our telegram page make sure you should join there because every day we are conducting quiz which will improve your performance definitely. So without much delay let's get started. This is actually the numerical which is easy to know but it will be looking very difficult. Let us read the question first. So sanitary landfill has the following specifications. Design life of the site is 40 years so for 40 years that site will be working that is the lifetime of the site and MSW that is municipal solid waste generation rate is 20 newton per person per day and the municipal solid waste compacted unit weight is 8 kilo newton per meter cube average fill depth that is the height of the sanitary line fill we can say that is 10 meter and the population of that area is 50,000 so that much people are staying near that site so the municipal solid waste to cover ratio is given 4 is to 1 we will know one by one what is this so the question is asking the area required for sanitary landfill will be of how much hectare. So we have to find the area of the sanitary landfill and these things are given. So how to calculate this we will know in the next slide. So before going into that let me remind you all about this 49 rupees 5 mock test series which will strengthen your preparation. Jiha ye 5 mock test aapko denge ek solid revision for the net examination. So two very simple steps and you can get this subscription. You can only pay rupees 49 on 89172522297 this number and send your screenshot for the payment to the email which is provided here or to the telegram account of the jack lead personal account then you will get the links for the mock test and appear anytime as per your convenience ji ha aap apne samay ke anusar kabhi bhi is test ko de sakte hain so first of all we will write all the given items so they are very easy to know and here we will know one by one that first given thing is municipal solid waste generation so what is this municipal solid waste total generated in the lifetime of that landfill so lifetime is 40 years so we'll multiply 40 years into 50,000 so what is this 50,000 50,000 is the population so amount of people living there next is 20 20 is the newton per person per day of the municipal solid waste generated per person so 50,000 person into 20 multiplied by 365 so this is 40 years but per day if you count it will be multiplied with 365 days so from here what we will get the value as it will be calculated and you will get the value as 146 into 10 to the power 8 newton per year so that's the value of this then we will get the value of the volume of compost that is the compacted volume that will be how much it will be density that will be density in denominator and mass will be in the numerator so how because volume is equal to mass divided by density and mass we had found that 146 into 10 to the power 8 and density from here it is given 8 kilo newton that's why we will divide by 8000 that is 8k so that is the density so we will write 8000 in the denominator then after solving this we will get the value as 1825000 so that is the value of the VCOMP which we are calculating here that is so here given is equal to volume of the compost divided by the cover is equal to 4 to 1 so where it is given it is given here that is the municipal solid waste volume to the cover ratio is 4 to 1 so that's why from here we will get that the cover will be how much so that is the volume of the cover will be 1825000 divided by 4 because we have calculated volume of the compost is 1825000 so in this way we will get the volume of the cover as very very easy 456250 so these are very important note down this number you can calculate on your own also 456250 will be the volume of the cover so now we will calculate the total volume that is volume of the compost plus volume of the cover which we have calculated 456250 then we will get the total volume that is 2281250 then we will calculate the area so area will be how much area is equal to volume by height because volume is equal to area into height we all know similarly area will be volume by height so total volume will be 2281250 we had calculated here by adding the volume of cover to the volume of 
solid waste that is the compost then it will be the device division of 10 why because 10 is the height which i have told earlier so by solving this we will get that value as 228125 meter square that is the area but here that will be not the answer as it is asking in hectares so 228125 meter square means it is telling 22.81 hectare so if you are calculating converting into hectare it will be 22.81 hectare by solving this then it will be close to the 23 hectare value which is given in the answer key a lake has 3.5 milligram per liter of dissolved organic carbon and we had to find the dissolved organic matter in the lake so here the correct option will be option number b that is 6 milligram per liter will be the total dissolved organic matter of the lake so how to find it it is very simple total organic carbon multiplied by 1.72 that is the standard value will give the value of total organic matter dissolved so here the dissolved organic carbon was given as 3.5 so here we will write in place of toc that is total organic carbon 3.5 multiplied by 1.72 will give the value as 6.02 which is close to the value of 6 milligram per liter that is the dissolved organic matter the question was quantity of glucose with the molecular weight of glucose given as 180 required to prepare 1000 ml of 5 percent solution is how much so it is very simple it is only simple maths so how to solve this it is asking 5 percent just we have to find the 5 percent of 1000 ml so 5 percent of 1000 ml will be 50 so 50 gram of glucose is required to make 5 percent solution of 1000 ml solution so no need of molecular weight no need of moles or anything if your concept is clear you will be able to write down the answer correctly very easy numerical if you know the formula first let us read the question question was that 1 atm pressure that is 1 atmospheric pressure and 25 degree celsius temperature that is 298 kelvin the oxides of nitrogen that is nitrogen dioxide concentration of 80 ppb that is parts per billion is equivalent to how much microgram per meter cube so this is asking about the concentration of nitrogen dioxide in microgram per meter cube when it is given concentration in parts per billion and the temperature atmospheric pressure are given so how to solve this kind of question let me take you to the next slide where we will solve this question with the help of a chocolate formula so the formula is the concentration in microgram per meter cube is equal to concentration in parts per billion that is ppb multiplied by the molecular weight of that substance given divided by 24.45 so what is this 24.45 it is actually the standard molar value so you should remember 24.45 liter is the standard molar value which will help you to solve this kind of question so this whole formula is very important now we will go back to our question and then solve according to the given conditions so here what we will do same formula we will put we have to find the concentration in microgram per meter cube that we will take it as x equal to concentration in part per billion that is it is given here 80 multiplied by the molecular weight so you should know molecular weight of nitrogen dioxide is 46 gram per mole that you should know accordingly you should solve this question so that is 46 gram per mole then whole divided by 24.45 that is the standard molar value so after solving this we will get the value of x is equal to 150.511 so this is the closest value that is approximately equal to 150.4 microgram per meter cube so option number 4 will be the correct option so you should remember that formula that is concentration in microgram per meter cube is equal to concentration in parts per billion multiplied by the molecular weight divided by 24.45 so i hope you are able to clear this doubt let's move to the next question so this question is also one of the very frequently asked questions in the net examination we should read this question first the question is find the average rate of motion in the case of a person who rides the first kilometer at 10 kilometer an hour the next kilometer at 8 kilometer an hour 
and the third kilometer at six kilometer an hour. So person who rides that means he is riding some vehicle. That person for first kilometer he is going at a speed of ten kilometer per hour. Then he is going at a speed of eight kilometer per hour for the next one kilometer. Then for the third kilometer he is going at the speed of six kilometer per hour. So we have to find the average rate of motion. That means it is asking average speed of that person with that vehicle. So here I have written that what most of the students will do. Yes, those whose concept is not clear, what they will do, they will simply add these three speeds. That is ten plus eight plus six. That is it will be equal to twenty four. Yes, twenty four divided by three times. So divided by three, and they will get a value as eight, and they will hit option B, and they will get a big zero. Yes, because eight is not the correct answer. So this step is very very incorrect. You should note the concept. And examiner has also put that incorrect option to confuse you and give you zero marks. So let's know what is the correct formula to solve this kind of questions. So here we are going to solve with the help of a very easy formula. So there is nothing formula. So we should incorporate our own concept that is here if this type of question is given that first kilometer this many speed second kilometer this is the speed and third is this is the speed so we should use to find the harmonic mean yes harmonic mean all this concept i have discussed in the first part of the statistics playlist you can go there and see what is this so harmonic mean is what it is n that is number of observations divided by 1 by mean 1 1 by mean 2 1 by mean 3 that is 1 by x1 plus 1 by x2 plus 1 by x3 so here x1 x2 x3 means the mean of the first second and third case so here total number of observations means total number of kilometers total number of kilometers he went is 3 kilometers 3 times so it will be n and what is the mean that is the average rate of motion average speed at first kilometer is 10 so 1 by 10 we should do remember 1 by 10 not 10 so then we will add with the second average by 1 by 8 that is the 8 km per hour for the second case similarly we will add with plus 1 by 6 that is the it is telling about the harmonic mean of this race of this person so after solving all these things we will get the value as 7.6 km an hour is the correct average of that person yes then we can hit the option a and we will get the full marks so here in this type of question you should go for harmonic mean simple thing and you will get the correct answer so i hope you are noting down all these concepts so let's move to the next question here is one more problem coming in front of your screen So the question is: There are sixty students in MSc Environmental Science of Ravensia University, of which twenty-five are girls. So the average weight of the twenty-five girls is given as forty kg, and that of all boys is fifty-three kg. So we have to find the mean weight in kg of the entire MSc students. So here actually there can be a language problem, and you can be confused. So it is telling there are sixty students. Of which twenty five are girls. That means twenty five are girls out of sixty. So how much it will be boys? So boys will be thirty five. So thirty five are boys, twenty five are girls. So here it was telling that the average weight of twenty five girls is forty kg, and that of all boys. That of all boys means that of thirty five boys is fifty three kg. So then we have to find the mean weight. Let's move to the next slide. So this is the case of the combined mean formula. You should use the combined mean formula to know the overall weight of this class. So here let x one mean and x two mean denote the average weight of the girls and the boys respectively. Then x one mean is given as how much? It is given as forty. So that is the mean average weight of the girls. X two mean that is the mean average weight. Of the boys is given as fifty three, and n one that is number of girls observation is twenty five, and number of boys we have found that is sixty minus twenty five is thirty five. So mean weight of the total M S C students will be how much? So the formula for the total mean average will be x mean will take the average of the all students that is n one x one mean plus n two x two mean. Divided by n one plus n two. So this is the formula to get the combined mean value. So we'll simply put all this value which we have discussed here. We have mentioned twenty five into forty plus thirty five into fifty three divided by twenty five plus thirty five, and we should know. We will calculate whether it is coming total students or not. Yes, sixty is the total students, so it is also correct. After solving all these, we'll get the value as forty seven point five eight three kg. So forty seven point five eight three kg. That is option number B will be the correct option. And that is the average weight of these MSc students is forty seven point five eight kg. So these were some of the techniques and formulas which you can 
note down and you should do and practice more to be more sure for answering these questions correctly so i hope you have enjoyed this don't forget to like this share it with your friends keep smiling see you guys in our next video